From gamers to casual players, there is a seat at the table for all board game enthusiasts. It's been tremendous just to give folks kind of a launching point for getting to connected to, to other people. Rin and Kevin Grant opened The Castle, a board game bar and restaurant in Beverly, Massachusetts, eight years ago. Eight years ago, there was a lot less going on in Beverly. It's, we would kind of go downtown and be like, you know, you can sit at a restaurant, but how long can you stay before you really frustrate staff? So we're really trying to make more of a, a community space, a place where people could go, spend time together, um, really kind of put their phones down and focus on each other. And from our experience, found that board games were like a great catalyst for that. As soon as you enter, you're pulled into another universe. Ooh, but I can't use this yet, right? Because Correct. Visitors are drawn to the walls of games. With more than 1,000 to choose from, there is something for everyone. We try to act like a, a full restaurant from the start. So you come in, you get seated with the menu, and you can order drinks. Once that's done, you can just get up and peruse our games. It's a Charlotte Royale. Ranging from the classics, like the game of life. And then guess who, of course. It's one of the regularly played popular ones over there to games built for bigger groups. We get a lot of folks coming in from college or like early 20-somethings that'll come in in groups of like eight or 10 and they'll play uh, those party games. And everything in between. There's really a game for anyone. If you know people who love cooking, there's cooking games. If you know people who love building stuff, there's building games. There's a ton of history games. The castle recently relocated to a bigger space. We didn't have a hood in our kitchen. Allowing the grants to launch a full menu featuring a variety of shared plates. But really, the goal of the castle is to bring people together, and that's a win for everyone. One of the things we love about games is it is a great way to interact one-on-one -on -one with people that kind of gives you a thing to focus on, gives you a thing to keep moving, but you're also still very present. I hope you draw yes, a lot of cards. Good. If battling with magic or taming dragons is more your speed, Tavern of Tales in the Mission Hill neighborhood of Boston has a bit of both. It just has a very welcoming community and everyone's just very cool to play with. On Wednesday evenings, the Tavern hosts a Magic the Gathering meetup. One of our more popular games that we have here is Magic the Gathering. We sell Magic the Gathering cards and accessories for people to come in here. They'll come and play different tournaments or events here. This tabletop trading card game has an extensive following and... I don't know these guys. Yeah. I don't know I, them I'm at all. Yeah. yeah, we're all bonded by the yeah. glue that is Magic yeah. the Gathering. Yeah. That is our common community. That's, that's what it's up. It's like, hey, you got a deck? Let's play. Let's go. Nicholas Chen opened Tavern of Tales in 2019. With his background in audio engineering, Chen wanted to give gamers an elevated playing experience. We have six of these private rooms right now where it's great for players to rent out these rooms because it comes with a nice big table. Magic the Gathering is a fan favorite here, but Chen says Dungeons & Dragons is especially popular in the private rooms. Each of these rooms are soundproofed as well as come with their own audio system, so the dungeon master in the game can hook up their computer or their phone to play different sound effects off of or different uh, ambiances. For those not up to speed on Magic the Gathering or Dungeons & Dragons, the Tavern offers a variety of free board games to play while enjoying your meal. Although the crowds and competition may seem intense at times, remember there is always a seat at the table for you. Magic the Gathering is one of the oldest uh, trading card games available. So we do some events occasionally for beginners, people who are looking to learn the game, where they can come in and we have a lot of community members who come in here and they're always happy to teach new players. And Nicholas describes Magic the Gathering as a trading card game that's easy to learn, very hard to master. They do have other stuff, easier nights, they have trivia nights, stuff like that. So there are entry-level games as well. <laughs> All right, and back to the castle in Beverly. They play Magic the Gathering and Dungeons and Dragons there as well. And Rin says there's such an interest now from younger students that she's actually started a gaming group for middle school students. And it is so popular that she is looking for help. Oh, they're expanding. That's mm -hmm. great. Up next, combining mobsters and lobsters.